At the YMCA of Central Ohio, we believe in both individual and group goals and supporting our children to discover who they are and what they can achieve. At the forefront of this commitment is to do so safely with the best interests of the children in mind. Nationwide Children's is proud to partner with the YMCA of Central Ohio to reinforce the importance of proper nutrition, conditioning schedules, and guidelines to keep our young athletes safe. Please take a moment to enjoy this video and this important information. Early specialization is the phenomenon that kids participate in one sport and one sport exclusively pretty, for pretty intense training year round. There does appear to be an increase in, in this phenomenon of early sports specialization. We see um, a very high rate of burnout in kids that specialize too early. They get psychologically disengaged, they don't want to participate anymore. When athletes are pushed really hard by their coaches and parents, sometimes that can create kind of almost a reverse side effect. They get, they get frustrated, they feel like rebelling, they don't want to do what their coach or parent says. The good news for swimming, it is one of the sports including soccer where there's not that imperative to start that early at the highest levels. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that there should not be sports specialization until after puberty. And there are several reasons for this. It's really hard for kids to get a really um, a lot more muscle mass when they're younger. They're not going to build a lot of muscle mass. They're not going to increase their aerobic capacity or their VO2 max a lot before they hit puberty. Overuse injuries are increased. Um, I, I, in the long term, overuse injuries oftentimes lead to long-term consequences. A classic example with that, of that would be if a joint is involved in an overuse injury, one might see higher rates of osteoarthritis in that joint later on in life. When you start noticing a kid sort of exhibiting signs of burnout, kind of like the loss of appetite, the loss of interest in the activity, you know, the excitement's kind of gone, that's a time where you need to kind of back up and really look at the program that they're doing. And you have to know who's coaching your kids. You have to know what training they've got. Do they have a background or are they just a parent? You have to have someone that understands the athletes at the age that they're coaching and the sport, not just someone who understands the sport. When you're dealing with younger kids, seven, eight, nine, um, the focus should be on doing things correctly and doing things um, the proper way and teaching them how to train and teaching them how to engage their core muscles properly. And then as they get older past puberty when they're a little bit more capable of performing at a higher level, that should be when more of the pressure comes in and here's how we're going to help you perform at your top level for you. Cross training is the practice of using another sport to improve your current sport or to be involved in a sport that's completely different than your sport just for a different experience. The swimmer is swimming a lot and then they pick up running for instance. Running is not necessarily going to help them in a pool a whole lot but it's going to give them a break from swimming. It's going to give their shoulders a break. It's going to engage their core muscles differently. It's going to give them a new group of friends to talk to. It's going to give them a different coach perspective and all those things are important for young athletes. It's very, very important for parents to recognize, I think, their principal role in this mix is to encourage adequate rest and recovery and adequate nutrition for their children. Monitoring those pain levels, making sure children are still enjoying themselves.